Another way to review your images in Bridge is by using the Improved Slideshow feature. Not only is it great for quickly reviewing and presenting your work, but also for labeling and refining your shoot. Let's use the Filter panel to look at our one and two star images. That way we can quickly select them by clicking on the first one, holding down the Shift key, and clicking on the last image. Then I'll choose View and Slideshow Options so that we can set up the slideshow to meet our needs. If we were working with multiple displays, I have the option now to black out any additional monitors. I can also choose to repeat the slideshow if I just want it to run over and over again. Then I can choose whether or not to zoom back and forth on my images. This will just give a slow zoom in and zoom out so it gives a little bit of motion to the slideshow. Under the options, I can choose a duration. For this presentation, I'll choose two seconds so that it moves through the images rather quickly. And then I can select whether I want a caption or not. I can turn it off, have a minimal caption which just would show page numbers, a compact caption which would just show the file name and the rating in the lower left, or I can use a full caption. The caption here will show whatever information you have displayed as your additional lines of metadata. When I'm presenting, my slides could be centered, scaled to fit, or scaled to fill. If you choose scaled to fill, it might crop your images because it's going to make sure that it fills the entire screen and the entire screen might not be the same aspect ratio as your images. So I'm going to use scaled to fit. For my transition options, I can choose from any of these on the list. I'm going to keep mine basic and just set it to dissolve. I can use the transition speed slider to make my transitions faster or slower. Now before I hit play, I don't actually have a secondary monitor, so I'm going to uncheck blackout additional monitors, and I don't need this slideshow to loop over and over again, so I'll uncheck the repeat option. And if I'm going to keep my slide duration short, I really don't want it to zoom back and forth. That's just going to add a little bit too much motion, so I'm going to uncheck that as well. Now let's go ahead and click play, and we can watch the slideshow. You'll see the images come up, you can see the caption there at the bottom, and it will cycle through all of the images that we had selected in the bridge. If I want to escape out of the slideshow, I tap the escape key. In this case, I want to make my caption a little bit smaller, and I want to make the time that each slide shows up a little bit longer. So I'll tap escape, and this time I'll use the keyboard shortcut to bring up the slideshow options dialog box. On Mac, it's Command Shift L. On Windows, it would be Control Shift L. I'll change the duration to five seconds, and I'm going to remove the caption. I'm also going to slow down the transition speed just a little bit more. If I were to click Done, these would be the default options. If I click Play, it'll go right back into Slideshow. Let me show you what I mean. I'll click Done, and then we can go to View, and then directly to Slideshow, and it will pick up whatever the last options were in the Slideshow Options dialog box. While we're watching the Slideshow, you can tap the H key to bring down all of the shortcuts. There's a few important ones here that I want to point out. First of all, Escape exits the Slideshows the space bar will pause or play the slideshow. So if I wanted to pause because maybe I wanted to talk about a slide, I could just tap the space bar. This also enables me to use my arrow keys. The left arrow key will go back in time, and the right arrow key will go forward in time. Let's bring back up those shortcuts with the H key. I mentioned that the arrow keys bring you back and forth, but you can add the modifier key, the command key, or the control key if you're viewing documents. So say for example instead of viewing images I was looking at some PDF documents. I might want to move through each one of the pages individually or I might want to jump from document to document. So that's what adding the modifier keys to the left and right arrow will do. 
You'll also notice that you can rate your images, so you could add a star or increase or decrease the rating of an image. You can rotate your images counterclockwise or clockwise, and you can set labels, all while you're watching a slideshow, which can be very helpful if you're trying to edit or refine a shoot. In addition, if you're working with RAW files, you can tap the R key, which will open your file in Camera Raw. You could make tweaks or adjustments to the image, and then when you click Done, it would return you not back to Bridge, but directly back into the slideshow where you left off. All right, let's tap the H key again. That will hide those shortcuts, and then tap the space bar, which will play through the rest of my slideshow. So I don't really think that we need to actually watch all of the rest of the images here, so I'm going to tap the Escape key to return to Bridge, because I, I want to mention one last thing. Under the View menu, when you choose Slideshow, you're only going to be viewing the images in Bridge. What if you actually have to send someone else a Slideshow? Well, then I would use a different tool. In fact, I would go under the Tools menu and choose Photoshop, and then PDF Presentation. The PDF Presentation option takes selected images and opens them into Photoshop so that it can compile them into a single PDF document or a single PDF presentation. The PDF presentation can include information about images such as file name, just like the impromptu slideshow did, as well as has options for transitions and durations of the images. So PDF presentation is a great alternative when you need to send someone a slideshow. If they have Acrobat Reader installed, which the majority of folks out there do, they don't even need to download any additional software in order to view the PDF presentation. They can simply view it in the PDF viewer. So that's an excellent way to give someone else a presentation or a bunch of images that will automatically be displayed as a slideshow. That's going to wrap up our session on creating a slideshow. I hope that you can see that it can be very useful not only for reviewing images, but also for editing down a larger volume of images by rating them and making tweaks and adjustments to those RAW files right directly from within the slideshow.